that the, the, the drink is not hot because the first part uh, is, uh, is uh, not, not very hot, but uh, inside is very, very hot. Yeah, it is. You, you cannot touch it and unfortunately you cannot smell it either, but it's amazing. And I have to tell you that oftentimes I come over with friends and followers who do not like you know, coffee or are not a super fan of chocolate, but I say you gotta take a, 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 just a little sip. And, and just to try because this is the essence of the view and they all love it it's not overly sweet it's not coffee like that overpowering of the coffee it's high in velvety and the chocolate it's like an elegance of pure luxurious uh, chocolate something that you can get at the grocery store and maybe you cannot even taste in Belgium and in Switzerland, maybe, I mean, probably we can say this because, I mean, we are famous for this, right? So, uh, be three. So, guys, <laughs> <Enjoy it. laughs> so remember, come over, also the amount of caffeine is quite low. Yeah, it's, uh, there, we, it doesn't make any variant, uh, variation about uh, of it, uh, but the only variation is to make it uh, prepare it with the decaffeinated uh, coffee without caffeine yeah caffeine if, free. if, if, uh, if that's a problem it's not a problem yeah but uh, there's only value yeah so usually though the amount of um of coffee would be like it's less secret. Uh, secret yeah the recipe the, is the recipe is a secret is a well um, in a safe all the people that uh, work here have uh, a Confidency paper uh, mm -hmm. side, and uh, yes, there are three ingredients, but uh, it, you have to know how to produce each of these ingredients the way to cook, the way to prepare, and uh, the, the raw material to use. Yes, and I remember maybe some of you guys will remember this too during the Winter Olympics of 20, uh, 2006. Uh, the NBC crew came over and they interviewed Marite and she showed how to make a real Bicherin coffee drink and in fact she didn't show everything she was just showing a little bit a little bit of this a little bit of that you wouldn't get the quantities you could only see that they were premium in, premium ingredients but you were not given the details so you gotta come over and check it out you know on, on yourself right yeah so guys, this is the bottega or the shop that is by the Bicherin coffee house and as you can see, you can come and buy your chocolate to bring home and all these other products. Let me show you that these are all the kinds okay see tell us Alberto yes welcome uh, we are mainly liquid chocolate here so the, 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 the hot chocolate to drink is the, the main product with the bicerino but uh, we produce uh, uh, a lot of fine chocolate, uh, very traditional of Torino. Uh, mainly the most important chocolate we produce is uh, the Gianluiotti. Gianluiotti is a typical uh, chocolate of Torino. It's uh, uh, milk chocolate with the hazelnut powder uh, inside, mixed. And there's a really special uh, flavor, very traditional. This is a tradi very traditional recipe. Uh, then we have the cremini. Cremini is the square the chocolate. There are three layers of chocolate, two of the wheat chocolate and one of the hazelnut chocolate. Then we have a very special fine dark chocolate that we have both in square chocolates. We named our name the quadre di cioccolata with our brand is a 54 person of cocoa and the, the red one is a 74 mm -hmm. cocoa percentage 
and uh, uh, both in uh, with the chocolate bars. This uh, the maroon, the the brown one is the 75 percent cocoa. It's very dark, and this a uh, bar a very thick and heavy chocolate bar. Look, uh, guys, yeah, it's about. I would say half an inch, about one centimeter. Yeah, high. more or less, more or less one centimeter. And uh, we have uh, this kind of chocolate, this kind of bars. We have the dark 75% cocoa and the, the regular that is 24. Then we have in the 24 cocoa percentage, flowered with hot pepper, ginger, black cherries, ratafia. Ah, yeah, this is the sour cherry liqueur that I thought. Yeah, exactly. Correct. And then we have milk chocolate bar and uh, uh, white chocolate uh, uh, bar. We have even uh, the one of the cinnamon, but are not as, you know, on the display. Now. Okay. Then there is another milestone yes. in the yes. uh, curing uh, uh, chocolate. And in our chocolate is the crema zanduja, that means zanduja spread, and it has a nut cream. Yeah, guys, look, this is, this is my raccoon hand, and look how it is with the jar. Yeah, this is, the jar is 700 uh, centimeter cubies. So this is uh, almost two pounds, almost, a yeah. bit less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have the dragé. Dragé means uh, are a kind of chocolate where the inside there is uh, uh, a bean or something else, and the outside are coated with... Uh, uh, chocolate, mainly dark chocolate. So we have the hazelnuts uh, coated, the ginger coated with the uh, dark chocolate, um, blueberries coated, and uh, the coffee beans coated. Oh, the liqueur that you were talking about before. The chocolate liqueur that our chocolate liqueur, dark chocolate liqueur, is uh, named Regale. Regale means royal. Yes. The yes. royalness of the... Yes. Um, then, then this is one of the antidepressants that this is... This is really antidepressants, it's 200 grams bar with hazelnuts and uh, milk chocolate. We have uh, the same kind, the same but with the dark chocolate. Our whole hazelnuts. So, is the same test of uh, the janduyot, but the difference is the janduyot is made with the powder of hazelnuts and this is the, with whole inside. Yeah, hazelnuts with inside. whole, with whole so it's hazelnuts. Very, it's very special, I like very, very much. And, and tell us about the cookies. The cookies are really unusual and uh, local cookies. All our cookies are uh, come from uh, our region, the Piemonte, Piedmont, uh, and mainly the area of Canavese. Canavese where is uh, located Caluso and Ivrea. So that's the area where they produce the Erbaluce di Caluso wine. Correct, correct. Uh, we have a very strong relation, Marite was from Caluso, we have a very strong relation with uh, Caluso, so all wine that we served, the Brut, the, the Sparking and the uh, regular normal wine are both from Caluso and uh, we made even, uh, we prepare even the, the Zabaglione at the Passito di Caluso. Yes. So I can see there are some baci, right? See, baci di Dama. Uh, and we have another speciality of uh, of the area are the canestrelli. Yes, the, the, the same one. We have one. A same canestrelli, but one is from the village of Villa Reggia, mm -hmm. and one other is from another village that is 30 kilometers far from Borgo Franco, are a little bit, they have a little difference between the two. Mm -hmm. And wow. these are the Biscotti of Duquesta from Roletti of Vallier, mm -hmm. the Castle of Vallier. Yes. And uh, you don't, have to forget the I torcetti. torcetti. These torcetti are amazing. amazing. These were the favorite of the Savoy princesses. Absolutely. And they were eating these made only by one specific baker and with the gelato. Yeah, and this is the baker.
<laughs> yes. It's from that baker, Roletti. It's of written Allier. there. Yes. yes. Sa- it's not Allier, it's San Giorgio Canavese that is the, the, the next uh, village to the yes. uh, castle of Allier. Yeah. So basically, when we go to the Bicherin and we order the Bicherin drink with the mix of cookies, these are the cookies that these we have. These are had. the same cookies. Wow. We like to say the same thing that you can uh, enjoy at the table. Wow. And I saw that you also have these nocciolini. Nocciolini Tivasso are yes. small um, meringues. Meringue of uh, hazelnuts. In the speciality of Tivasso, it's uh, very close to Torino, and uh, this producer is the top one uh, of the always is in the area of Canavese, only we have a different cookies, uh, cake f- not from Canavese, that is the, the cake, hazelnut cakes, uh, by Cognum, because this kind of product, food, is based on the hazelnuts, and the area of hazelnuts is the Langa, and uh, we, we have uh, the producer, the supplier of this cake uh, directly from the place where hazelnuts are uh, harvested. Very, very, very nice. What about these? These are also very famous. These are wafers, right? With chocolate. Yes, it's, it's same name. Are, they call it uh, Canestrelli, but uh, is another village that make Canestrelli are a little different from the other. This is sort of wafer, so you have three layers, two layers of Canestrelli inside the chocolate. So delicious. So delicious. Thanks so much. Thank you so Enjoy. much. Thank you. Bye-bye.